everyone, welcome back to another video. So, last time, I think I did a tutorial for, um, what's it called? I gave us, it's, um, I mean, I, told, I taught you how to get a simple native trainer in your GTA 4. Today, I'm gonna give you an alternative. It's still, you don't have to downgrade, it's still a native trainer, it's just, it looks better, and I think has some more options, so, wouldn't see why you won't go with it. So, um, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So there's another Steam post I found, and um, there's two links you have to get. So the first one is this one. It's um, I think an ASI loader. So um, you just have to get that. Just save it. Oh wait. Okay. And then um, go here to the Nexus Mods page, and then get this um, mod menu. Just click download. Uh, if you have um, premium, you can just do that. I don't have it, so slow down. Just save it. Oh, and ignore the um, threat protection. It'll just um, it just says it, but it's all it's just a false positive. So just allow it. So um, now that you have those, just go to your um, files, and then go to your uh, downloads here, and then now you have um, you have these two. So um, you just open another downloads folder. I mean, actually, you open your GTA folder. Sorry, uh, your GTA four. I already have it installed, so um, but it's basically the same process. So I'll just do it right now. So um, so now that you have the um, ASI file, you just drag that in GTA 4 and just extract all. Extract. Open this. Take everything out. Just uh, and move it over to your GTA 4 folder. For me, it says replace because I. I just did it, but for you, it'll probably just put it in. So now that you have that, actually, I think my uh, my browser blocked it. So let's just redo that. Now, um, now you have that. So um, just go back to your downloads, open a, your GTA 4 folder. So now, just drag this in there. Oh, sorry. Just drag this in here. Same thing, just extract all. Extract. Now you have this, just drag everything in there. Just replace, it, it probably won't say that for you, it's just because I said it for me, because I already did it. And that's basically it. So, if you want to confirm that this is it, like, that if it's saved, I'll just go back to virus total here. And I'll just drag it in. Like it's perfectly fine. Let me just. Here it is. Just drag Liberty's Legacy. Like it's completely fine. It's just Windows thinks it's a false positive. Even I think it even says Windows here. So if you Control F. Win. So yeah, like it's a it's just a false positive. So um, <coughs> not you did that. I am now going to launch my game for you guys to see. That it works, and um, this works natively. You do not have to downgrade, like I said earlier. <coughs> it's like the simple native trainer, but looks better and technically is better. So um, yeah, I wouldn't see why you wouldn't go for this. Okay, I'm just gonna. Here we go. It's just launching here, and it, and for and for, if it actually does crash on startup, that's perfectly normal. Just, just start it up again. Probably fine. It always happens, I think, when you get so much. God, I forgot how loud this game is. Okay. Okay, just press start. Okay. 
And if it worked, you'll see this. You'll see Welcome to Liberty's Legacy. And this is controller compatible, so um, just to keep in mind, it says LB and then down on the D-pad to open it, or F11 if you're using keyboard and mouse. And you use your numpad. It's basically like the simple native trainer. It's the same controls like for the numpad. And just you have to press Control Enter to continue. And now the the menu opens. You just use your numpad to, to move around. And I'll I'll test some of the features for you guys. And uh, there's um, super jump, which I'll test outside. There's no way in hell I'm doing it in here. So you just let's go outside here. There we go. So super jump. This is what you get, dude. No! no! Yep. And here's God mode, which I guess works. I don't know. Test it here. I'll get right. And it works. You can. Um, like you play invisible. You can add money. You can just add a bunch. Just 25k, you just keep spamming that. Radio on foot. Thank God for the ninja. I don't really want to do that, but I'll get copyright claimed. And you can wall talk yourself. I don't see why you do that, but do that. Yourself. You press numpad zero to go back. So you fix your car, auto repair, this in invisible vehicle. Then I'll put your vehicle door. Sorry, I'm just. I don't know what this and, uh, you need to close all the doors. You can, uh, you can teleport, teleport, here, all the safe houses and stuff. You can go in. Weapons, you can get a weapon individually. Test it, I'll get a uh, uh -huh. 847. Jeez, and there you go. Buddy, I don't have it works. Day. And uh, you can get all weapons. And that's. And there you go. I can have all weapons. Infinite ammo. Vehicle machine gun and vehicle rocket gun, which is one of my favorites. You can drop your weapon. Yeah, drop your weapon. You <laughs> Spawner, you can do vehicles, enemies, and head spawn attributes, all to all the vehicles. So you can just do a four wheel vehicle. Um, you can just random it. You can delete the current vehicle on next spawn, which means if you spawn two, you don't delete the one you've used before. So you can do random four wheel vehicle, for example, and it just spawns one. Or you can actually like, go in and select the helicopters, select the vehicles here. If you know the models, I do not, so I just do random. I do small bodyguards, which was a feature in the in the other in the other um, trainer too. You can just spawn them. They work like any other bodyguards. Like I'll spawn Dwayne. <laughs> he works. And then enemies, you can just spawn. Them. Then they'll start shooting you, but your buddy will protect you if you have. Oh god, I have no idea what's going on. Okay, um, I don't know what this does, but I've actually never tried this. I don't know what that does, but, um... And there's a world where you can freeze time. Try right here. And then it just freezes the weather, I think. And then you can time lapse. Which is cool, I like that feature. You can, uh, you can make you can change the weather. Extra sunny, 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 windy. Set a minute. Make it minutes. Mist. I don't know what the 3D waypoint is. I'm not even gonna bother using that one. Display your FPS. Fire. I think you guys play on Steam, so you'll probably have the Steam thing, but if you don't, you can use this built in FPS now. Radio, you can do Ghost Town, but I don't really want to glitch my game because I'm hoping to glitch on the game. You can go on settings, menu sound effects, I don't know. or you can do the LCD computer sound effect, like police car computer sounds. You can also change your theme. I'm right now on the GT4 theme. Here's um, Battle of Gate Tony. There's the LCD theme. There's the black theme. 
background this theme. Twitter theme, GitHub theme, Windows 10 theme. I kinda like the GTA 4 default, so I'm just gonna stick with that. And if you wanna use your um, arrow keys in this menu, you can do that by doing the setting here. But it'll mess around with your in game phone, so I recommend just keep, keep using the notepad. And credits, you save the train changes. That's basically it here. That is it for this menu. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, and I really hope you enjoyed this menu because it's really it's like way better than um, the simple native trainer in my opinion. So I will see you later.